Hey everyone, I am Henry. Thank you so much for joining me for this game. I'm playing on Metro. I don't like Metro, but here I am anyway. Oh well, I'm gonna try to get a good game of 50 kills on this map. But before I do, here's my comic strip. Hope you like it. Yes, I had to poke fun at Metro. I just don't like this map. Let me see, how many ways do I not like this map? Lots of ways. One, I don't like the train. It just stops the whole game in its tracks. <laughs> tracks. While I wait for the game to start. Don't like that. And just, yeah, the, the train just goes by and you wait, 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 okay, done, done, done. Okay, now the game can continue. So, yeah, I don't like that. Two, what, what's the second one? Oh yeah, this isn't a three lane map, it's like, four lane map. You go up the left side, you go up the right side, then you go up the water side on one side and the water on the other side, both of which nobody ever watches, so people can flank you and you have no idea what's going on you get shot in the back because people decide to swim and oh, yeah, just a mess. Yeah, so the map doesn't flow well. That's Is that number three? Sure, number three. It doesn't flow well. I don't like how this map goes. I never know where to go, what to do. But uh, I seem to have gotten it in this game. Not enough to get 50 kills, but I got a pretty good score. And yeah, what's another thing I don't like this about this Oh yes, something that Treyarch loves to do, which I hate them for. Well, I don't hate them, but I hate this decision-making process that results in this. Symmetrical maps. I hate symmetrical maps. So it's like making half a map. And then you have to play the same half on the other side. Let's see some more asymmetrical maps. What's with all these symmetrical maps? We have a middle of the game and it's switching sides for a reason. It's so that one side does not have an advantage over the other side. But if the maps are symmetrical, we don't need to have a half time. We don't need to switch sides halfway through the game. So make up your mind, Treyarch. Either give us asymmetrical maps or get rid of the half time. We don't need it if you have symmetrical maps. And this is one of the worst. And for the record, I would just prefer if they get rid of the symmetrical maps. Like, that's a much better choice, obviously. Keep things interesting, you know? Ooh, I like this part of the game right here. I was sitting here for a little while. I know it's boring to watch, but I knew he was there. And I knew if I would go in there after him, he would take me down. So I was patient, and I was patient, and then I used some more patience. And I got him. So I, I was so pleased with myself, I have to say. And... Oh yeah, that guy. I was like, where did he go? And then he slides past me, and of course, I know he's coming behind me, don't know what to do again. And I was patient again, and I got him with the hip fire nonetheless. So, yes, I have to say, I was very pleased with myself at those two gunfights. I was not rushing out, I was being patient, and I was trying to act smart, and it paid off for me that time. Yes, and later on in this game, you'll see a spot where don't act so smart. But anyway, forget about that for now. Right here is where... I sit for lots of the game, and it does me pretty well. And yes, I see that there's some uh, guy using the electrical shock therapy there, and I decide I have to stay away from that. And I do well not to get caught in it, yes. Okay, now my two teammates are over there, so now it's time to look a little bit to the left, see if there's any... <laughs> Did you like that joke? Did you like that joke? Yeah. It seems that lots of COD players like to complain. And I like to complain sometimes too, as you just heard with me in a symmetrical maps rant. Which I don't like. But yeah, we're famous for complaining. And I got my Cerberus, the three-headed beast. In case you didn't know what a Cerberus was. It's a three-headed beast in mythology. So yeah, I got my Cerberus. And I'm going to try to aim to get all my streaks. Uh, I know I said that in another map. But uh, this time I'm really going to do it. I'm going to try to get all three before I invoke any of them. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention... Um, I have a couple videos lined up for this series. So I can't implement something that you guys suggest in the comments like right in the next video because I already have that recorded. But here, I'm going to put a comment on the screen. Bearded Assassin and Colin both suggest that I use... And yeah to help with the score streaks, getting to them sooner. And the second one, Overdrive, so I can get to my Hive sooner. 
and I tried those things in some games. Now, I did not do better than the score in this one, so I cannot use those games, because if you remember the rules about these games, I always have to show you a game whose number of kills is strictly increasing over the last game. So, can't show them, because I didn't do so well. But here, I'll tell you my results so far. But before I do, rewind back a couple seconds. How did I kill that guy? I saw a red hexagon, but I didn't see anybody. But I shot at it because we're at Hexagon, and I got a kill. Where was he? I don't know, was he hiding in the glass? Was he behind on the other side? Was he way off the map somewhere? Was he like right in front of me and I just didn't see him and I'm blind? I don't know, it's weird. Oh. So, my anti-up and overdrive experiment. Um, first of all, I'm gonna cover anti-up. Anti-up lets you have 150 score towards your first score screen. And I thought, whoa, that's pretty cool, 150 score. But I noticed, because I had to give up engineering in order to put anti-up on, and I also had to give up a attachment on my gun, because I needed two, because I wanted to double up in the second slot, because I can't live without my scavenger, so I needed to put anti-up and scavenger in the second slot. So I needed to give up engineer and an attachment. Without the engineer, I cannot find the enemy score streaks in the sky, like UAVs and catcher UAVs or whatever else they put up there. And so I can't get the score for shooting them down because I just can't find them. I look around and I don't want to be one of those people that just stares up at the sky for five minutes trying to find these things until I get shot by somebody who says, hey, look, this guy's staring up at the sky and shoot him. So I don't want to be one of those guys. So I need engineer to be able to find these things quickly and shoot them down quickly. A, because I don't want them knowing where I am because I don't run Ghost or whatever it's called in this game. I never use it, so I never know what it's called. And... B, I want that score. 150 points is only 150 points. During one life, I could shoot down like four things and get more than 150 scores. So even though anti-up may have seemed like a good solution for me, uh, it turned out not to work out so well. Okay, so what about overdrive in order to get to my highs a little bit soon? In theory, this is also a good one. And in practice, I'm still not sure. <laughs> I come to you with conclusions and then I don't really give you a conclusion. Uh, because I didn't really notice how much faster the hives came. And that doesn't mean that they didn't come faster. I mean, they must, right? So it was probably a good thing. It was probably a good thing that I got the hives faster. I just didn't notice, that's all. Because hive kills get you 125 score each. So if you can get hives down... Oh, look, look at that. That was nasty. That's, that's the part that I was talking about. Oh yeah, here's another one though. There's two in a row. Two in a row where I do pretty... You think I'm doing well here, because I get that guy, and I get this guy, but then... Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, silly me, silly me. Do not try to kill two guys at the same time, especially when they're both facing you. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, so where was I? Oh yes, overdrive. So, I think it probably did me well, because 125 points per kill is a good thing, and uh, the more hives the better but I didn't really notice per se. But I think I will keep it on because I am one of these people that plays a little bit uh, defensively as you can see right here. So I think it might be a good idea to use overdrive instead of the sixth sense that I was using before. The sixth sense will come in handy every once in a while, but I think that the overdrive will come in handy all the time. So I think I will stick with that change in games coming in the future. Or hopefully it'll help me get to those 50 kills that I've been looking for. Now, I haven't talked much about this gameplay. I don't think there's really much to say, except for the times that I interrupted myself there. And it's pretty obvious I'm just camping this window like crazy. And uh, there's not a lot of flankers in this game, thank goodness, because normally that's what would happen. I'd get flanked and get shot in the back. But uh, putting down the highest helps. So putting down my trip mines and my shock charges, they help too. Um, but uh, they wouldn't help against somebody that's determined. So. Anyway, here we go. The final score, 37 to 3. Pretty good. And I get the final kill cam, which is always sweet. I hope you can leave me more comments with suggestions because the last suggestion worked out fine, or one of the two did. So I would love to hear any more suggestions. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you have the time and the inclination. This is Henry. Over and out.